and this is a review for Z Band. Uh, ordered mine about two or three weeks ago from uh, the website you can see in front of you, which is zband.biz. And the price on their website is in dollars, it's uh, $59.99, and that equated to just under 38 English pounds. The Z Band is uh, quite simply just a vibrating alarm. Um, I've actually got mine, I'll show you it in a minute, but I'll just show you the website. Did a bit of research on this, uh, my son's hard of hearing, and it doesn't like these vibrating things you put underneath the pillows. So I did quite a bit of research, and there's various devices which um, you can put on your wrist which vibrate. The majority of them are for sports things, and they'll count how many steps you do, etc., how, how active you've been. And the battery life on them is pretty poor, it only lasts um, probably a day, really, two days maximum. So I was looking for something a bit more durable with battery life. And um, I came across this on a website. This is the Z Band. Uh, let's have a look at their website. So, it tells you what it's about, how it works. Um, you actually need uh, a mobile phone to pair it with via Bluetooth for it to work properly. I ordered mine a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like now. So, this is what you get through the post a um, little box with Z Band written on the front. Open it up, you have the unit inside. Uh, I'll show you that in more depth in a moment, but that's just basically a small vibrating unit held inside a wristband, plastic wristband. Inside the box, you have a set of instructions for two types of mobile phone. The first one's an Android, uh, similar follow instructions there. And the second one is a Windows application. And that's the instructions there. They're more or less the same. So this is what the Z band actually looks like just a plastic strap with the vibrating unit inside it. It just clips out, I'll do that now, just press the button is the middle part on the outer ring here, that's hard plastic, just pop that out it'll come out quite neatly. I'll show you the strap, get a white strap as well order them separately which is quite nice because I've seen with other units like the jawbone and things um, once the strap's gone, that's the whole unit gone. So, strap separate, vibrating unit separate also. It's charged via a small USB, well actually it's a, it's a micro USB port just on the side there. The unit doesn't come with any uh, recharge, um, rechargeable adapter with it. Theory being, because you're going to be using an, um, an Android or a Windows phone, the majority of these have a small um, micro USB lead for the phone anyway to charge the phone up. So why why have two? That's uh, it's quite a good idea. Plus it keeps the cost down, I suppose. So that's very simple. That just um, slots in there. Like so, that then charges up and uh, doesn't take too long. I think it's about half an hour altogether, which which isn't bad. So once the uh, the little vibrating unit is charged up, that simply slots back inside here, like so. Goes in and just clips in. Dead easy. Dead easy. Okay. Earlier on, I mentioned you have to um, pair the Z-Band device through Bluetooth. Now that's either with an, um, an Android or a Windows phone. I've got in front of me here a, an HTC Desire S. So that's an Android. Uh, you go to the Google Store and download the Z-Band app. As you can see there, I've got it on the front screen. So what we do is we click on the Z-Band app and you've got a number of functions here. Alarm, snooze and vibrate. Now what will happen is it will try and connect. In order to connect it, you have to press and hold and you get a little vibration of confirmation of the Z-Band, that'll start to flash. You've now got 90 seconds to put all the information on that you want to. So I'll put the Z-Band thing there. And we shall go to connect, so that's confirmed. Now, it doesn't come up very well on this camera, but I have actually got two alarms. Uh, you can check Monday through to Sunday if you want an alarm to go off at a particular time every single day. At the moment, we're just going to do Sunday. I'm going to press set alarm. I'm going to do it for uh, 3 p.m. 
Okay, 3 p.m. Don't forget the p.m. Done that before. And we go set. And at the bottom, we press save. Now, what will happen is when that saves, it'll send a signal and the Z band unit vibrate again. You can set many different alarms. We'll come on to that later. You've got a snooze function here. snooze function. Click on there and you can select however many minutes you want. So we'll save that five minutes, save settings and the Z-band vibrate again. You can actually set the strength of the vibration on the unit and I would just advise just setting it to the full level and then again See, it's disconnected. If we go connect again, it'll automatically connect. Connecting, not connected. It says connect. Now, we'll press the Z-band again. And once the Bluetooth's working on the Z-band, it starts to flash. Press connect. It says now connected on the top and the vibration we've already set, we'll just save the strength of that and the Z-band can it's a little vibration jiggle again, so that's fine okay so we've set these alarms if I wanted to do a Monday through to Friday at 6 p.m. I've done that so I save alarm, we'll save that and it's confirmed that again so we've got two alarms set the first one is 3 p.m. today and the second one is 6 a.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, so that's those set. You can add further alarms as well. So we remember we set the alarm for 3 p.m. It's going up to 3 p.m. now and we'll have a look at the, uh, the Android phone I set it with. I'm assuming they just pair the time with the phone. I've left it out of the unit just to show you how it will vibrate when it goes off. So we'll just wait a wee while and uh, any second now this should actually start to vibrate. Obviously when you're wearing this, this would be inside this band here which goes around your wrist. And as you can see, you're probably here that's vibrating nicely. This will be against your skin, sort of on your wrist. Now if I wanted to snooze it, if I press in the middle once, I get a couple of vibrations just to confirm that I have set it to snooze. And then remember we set, I think it was for five minutes earlier on, so that'll continue to remember that I must go off again in five minutes. It's as easy as that. So we're just waiting for it to uh, come off snooze now. I'll put it in the, um, the wristband that it goes into, which is dead simple to do. Uh, turn it upside down and turn this upside down. And just put one end in first. And push the other end in, it goes flat and it's like that. Either wrist, no matter which one you want, and it clicks in. Dead symbol. So that's on my wrist now. So this is the Z band. Um, dead easy to use. Pair it with your uh, Bluetooth enabled Android or Windows mobile phone. Apple, I believe, will probably um, be on board shortly with this as well. Uh, it's quite a nice little unit actually when you look at it. Um, get it in white as well. The nice thing with this is it does exactly what you want it to do and no more. You don't, you're not paying say £100-£140 for a device which will give you, um, I don't know, how many steps you've, you've walked in a day. The nice thing with this is the battery lasts about 10 days. My son's been using it and uh, has actually forgot he's had this on. Uh, so it is quite comfortable. He's gone to his lectures at uni and looked uh, down at his watch and it hasn't been his watch, it's been his Z-band. So 
you know, you don't even know you've got it on. It does work. The vibration uh, unit does vibrate against your skin, wakes you up gently. The nice thing is, if you're hard of hearing, fantastic. However, if you know you're you're a, you're a couple, you and your partner wake up at different times. Um, you can use this unit to wake you up at a different time, and you're not waking the whole household up with uh, one of the audible alarms. So that's a really nice touch. It doesn't have to be permanently Bluetoothed up either. Once you've set it, that's it done. You can turn your phone off, unlike something like the Jawbone, which you do have to be permanently paired up via Bluetooth. Um, really nice facility. Very, very nice compact unit. Um, I think I'll probably get one of these myself, actually. Um, very, very good. Definitely recommend this.